Hey everyone, in this session let's look at installing uh, Visual Studio Code which is also called as VS Code and then we'll start with an installation and then we'll run a simple program to confirm it is all working fine and then we'll also look at installing a couple of useful extensions. So VS Code has a marketplace which is having a number of extensions which, which can be used and also we look at where we can find the settings, uh, user setting as well as global settings so that we can change uh, the settings if we need it. And then we'll also look at opening a VS Code from a command line or from a specific folder, project folder. So let's get started. If you go ahead and search by VS Code or Visual Studio Code, and then this takes us to the page code.visualstudio.com. So if you click on this, and then it just asking us to download for Windows. So by default, it understands my OS and then asking me to download for Windows. And if you are using Mac OS, it will suggest you to open download it for Mac OS. So if you click on this, this will give you an exe file and before we do that I just want to show you that what is their uh, language support. So you can read through this and this is a lightweight, definitely it's a lightweight you will feel that and also it's a powerful source code editor. So I, I, I think a lot of developers personally and in my current project I use this as my code editor and by default it supports for JavaScript, TypeScript and Node.js that's our default inbuilt support. In addition to that it's also supporting other languages so we can write this we can use the same editor to write the code for different languages. I tried for Java it worked fine I didn't try for Python but obviously it will all support that. Okay so that's a, uh, that's a use and that, that's a powerful editor uh, which is from Microsoft obviously. Um, and then if you download that exe file, let's go ahead and do that. If I just download it, it's going to give us an exe file. As you can see it, once you open this, it's going to take a time, but I have already downloaded it. So this will ask you to click on a couple of things. If you just do uh, next, and I would suggest you go with creating, uh, creating a desktop icon. So, and I would suggest also suggest to go ahead and check all of this option. So this is, these options are basically to open any of the supported files from VS Code and the last one add to path is basically setting this uh, VS Code installation location in the path directory so that we can access it through the command line. And if you click on next and click on install it's going to just uh, take a while and then just going to get this installed. So this is my duplicate extension but this is, this is what is actually installing it now. going to take a while and uh, once installed we should be able to see that in the command prompt as well. So like the way we have confirmed the installation for node.js as well as npm so similarly we can should be able to confirm that their version of it. So if we click on finish and then launch it it's going to launch the VS code and the way we can confirm its successful installation so we can close this now you can see it's opened already. So if I just close this one, I'll we'll go from there. So quickly we can check uh, the, the shortcut for VS Code is code and then space dash V. If we just type in here, it shows our current version which is 1.58.2 and this I suppose it's our GitHub uh, commit ID and it is for the, uh, the, the, the OS version which is a 64 bit machine. Okay, so this confirms our installation and now let's, the easiest way we can open VS Code as I told you, you can just go here, this is my, let's assume this is my current project folder, which is where I'm keeping all my project files. So I wanted to open it from here. So this is where the command prompt that I've opened it. Otherwise we can also just, just for showing it to you, just type in CMD, this opens up the command prompt. The easiest way we can access code is by just typing code space and then just dot. If you enter it, this will open the VS Code editor on a specific location. So which will be useful if you are maintaining a multiple projects and you want to open VS Code in a specific directory. So by default it shows the, uh, the example file that we ran part of uh, the last installation and this is showing us a simple uh, program to just print hello world in the console. As you can see this is extension is txt and javascript file extension is a js file. So if we just rename it and then click on dot JS and then you can see that it's well installed as a JS file which is JavaScript file. 
So now you can see uh, the formatting has changed. You can see that console.log has become a different color which is actually supported by the editor. So it's very useful because so it suggests a lot of it. It comes with a lot of auto intelligence. So it basically it will suggest a lot of the methods, pre-populated methods and fields. We'll see them in the subsequent section. But for now, let's save this and then save it and maybe run it. So how do we then run a simple program? So there are a number of ways. So the easiest way would be just to go ahead and just click on this terminal or new terminal. Alternatively, you can press your control key and then there is a tilt uh, uh, symbol just below your escape key in your windows machine and this will also open up the terminal otherwise the easiest way if you just go ahead and um, close vs code you can see this command here as well toggle terminal which is control plus the tilt symbol this will open up the terminal and you can also see that so all command if you press control shift p control shift p this will open up all of the dialog commands basically you can say reload my window or create a file there is a number of things supported you can almost see everything okay so for now this will be enough uh, you can just find do toggle terminal which will open up a terminal so let's do that again and if i just run this program you can see it is my demo and it's a similar command node space and then start typing hello is my file name and then just tap key so this will complete the file name and if you just hit enter this is going to execute the same code which will just print hello world and then trying to print from 0 to 10 that's what it's currently doing so you can obviously maximize minimize the way you want for example if you click on this this will becomes the full window and if you click minimizes this will come down so it's a flexible editor and you i'm sure you will like it so and if you're already started using it which is a good and Okay, so this is the one way. How do we then run this code in a from an external terminal? So the easy, easy, easy as well. We can go to that uh, terminal here, the Windows command, and then start typing node, the same command, allow.js. So this will print this pretty much the same thing. Okay, so now we are able to run the same code in using the integrated terminal within VS Code as well as the external command. I mean, on the terminal as well. Okay, so how do we then format this actually? Because we talked about different extensions as part of the introduction, right? So we'll also go ahead and install a couple of extensions. So now if you look at this icon, as you can as you can see that it's extension. If you click on this, you will see a number of extensions. Basically, I'll show you a couple of useful ones. We'll start with uh, the icons. Basically, if you just start typing VS Code, yeah, the first one, the VS Code dash icons. If you click on this, this will install your icons. Basically, I find it useful because this will differentiate to different file format and different folders so that it's easy for you to understand. As you can see that it's being downloaded by 8.4 million people. So, and once you download it, this will prompt you to select whichever theme you wanted to. So basically it was initially SETI Visual Studio Code, but now we can change it to VS Code icons. If you do the if you do so and then close this one close this as well and if you press Control shift p and then just reload it maybe just to give you an example of where you can reload reload the entire window so that anything that you install will get affected so now if you go minimize this and then install it so likewise you can install pretty much other extension for example the one that i have um, VS Code icons and you can also select you can also install the prettier one so prettier code format is a pretty uh, an important one because this will format all of your code internally so we'll for example if I use this one I've already installed it you can do you can install using searching the name prettier code if formatter and then once installed <laughs> you should be able to select that as well so the way you can do that if you press Control shift P and then start typing prettier you can see that prettier create configuration file so for you it will come as to load prettier so once installed and then if you alt a and then shift alt shift f this will indent your code obviously you can see that it has been indented so i did not put the semicolon at the end so by default prettier puts it for me so this will be useful and with just a caveat um, and just a warning so if you are using prettier make sure that your team members is also using the prettier because otherwise you will see a lot of formatting issues when you are pushing the code into github so that's one thing just to note 
and likewise you can also install the other useful extension so it's there is having a number of extension you can see and you can also go ahead and install something called path intelligence so when we deal with a file system or reading a file writing a file obviously this will suggest auto suggest the actual path and npm installation so whenever you do this uh, installing an npm package from an external source this will suggest what are the uh, inbuilt methods and where you can import it so likewise you can also install eslint.env so some of them we can see them later but for now it should be okay to install VS code and then prettier should be fine for now optionally you can select path intelligence as well as the npm one okay so this will complete our installation of the VS code and couple of shortcuts now where do we find the settings so if I need to change my settings or globally user level where do I find it so if you click on this gear button at the bottom and if you just go here and then click on settings you will see that user as well as workspace so if you want to change anything specifically you can also do so and other alternative for example if I click on here you will see a small icon file icon at the top as you can over it here if you just click on this this will open up a JSON file so this will because I opened in a workspace it, there is no setting if I click on user and then click on this one now you can see user level settings so you can see pretty much it's a JSON key value pair so the key is here and then the value is this so likewise if you have a number of extension number of files that all can, all can be find, found here so usually we don't come here and change anything but in case, if in case you need to change anything this is where you will find a settings JSON file so this will set up your initial setup of VS code and node.js and we also were able to run a successfully uh, the file you can see by default it's loaded by the settings one but and control A all shift F this will indent your code and you may ask me why I'm putting out the single line so you could, this is for example any of the statement if it is just a single line you can also have without any the curly braces but if you wanted to make it as a constant you can also do so by just putting in another curly brace at the end and if you just control A all shift F this is your code as well okay so this confirms our installation part everything looking fine so we'll see them in the next session